Hey, what's up everyone? This is Snakey and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to explain why I do not think that Richthofen is an imposter. So currently people are theorizing and speculating about whether or not Richthofen dying is the real deal in the Blood of the Dead Easter egg cutscene. Many people are claiming that Richthofen should have a scar on his right cheek, while others claim that to be no more than a graphical bug. This whole thing is understandably very confusing because of the things that are said and done in the ending cutscene. Also, before you get going, I suggest you check out the video uploaded yesterday so that you have the basic understanding of what the ending itself actually means. Now, to make this a little easier to understand, we need to talk about the different versions of Richthofen in this map. First, we have the Richthofen that I will call Primus Richthofen. This is the guy who arrives at Alcatraz with Takio, Dempsey and Nikolai, who are supposed to get the blood vials and proceed to Gold Krovi. Then we have the pre-Shadows of Evil Richthofen, who is the Richthofen we see in the intro cutscene for Blood of the Dead, basically the one giving the blood vials to Primus Richthofen. Finally, we have post-Revelations Richthofen. This is the Richthofen stepping out of the cryo chamber right before the map's ending cutscene. Primus Richthofen was originally supposed to be teleported to the lab itself, but instead he ends up in the prison. Because of the fact that he's late, pre-Shadows of Evil Richthofen gets frustrated and reads the Cronorium. My theory, and what's most likely, is that he realizes the importance of his own blood, thus leading to what happens in the ending cutscene. When he hands the Cronorium to Primus Richthofen, he also realizes this, and that's why he sacrifices himself in the end of the Easter egg. You're late. Doctor. Doctor? Is there a problem? Two for each of them. Survival depends on it. Ah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Ah, so much to do. The vessel for Maxis. The opening of the gateways. Are you sure you're not getting confused? Ah, you'll be needing this. The Cronori. But I've already read it. Read it. Again. What is the meaning of this? The pages have changed. They, our blood, mine blood. You cannot possibly expect me to let this happen. You son of a bitch! So why do I believe that the Richthofen in the machine actually is Primus Richthofen and not an imposter? Simply because it fits in with the story. Scar or not, the quotes he says in the end just seems like him being really freaked out about what's happening and not something that he'd say to validate himself. As far as I've understood it, Richthofen's blood must be used in order to end the purgatory in Alcatraz and that's why all of his blood must be drained, also meaning that he must die. The reason why Richthofen's blood is so powerful is because he is the character that has traveled the most through space and time using Element 115. This has affected his blood, basically charging it with ethereal energy. This energy can be, and seemingly was used to end the purgatory of Alcatraz. I honestly thought you were going to let me breathe your thing. It was so sad. The cycle is broken, Herr Doctor. As such, insurance policies are no longer needed. I wish I could tell you I was sorry, Edward. But I'm not. No! No, you can help me! You're a doctor! Wait! Don't you know who I am? I have been witness to miracles and calamities. Dimensions born and collapse. I walk a path no other can take. No! I want to be me. Someone who did all the hard work! Now, if his blood would be forgotten at Alcatraz or used in any other way, we do not know. But that's a topic for another video. So anyways guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, that would be very appreciated. And if you liked it really much, go ahead and subscribe, because I will post more Black Ops 4 content and more zombie storyline information shortly. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.